What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about how to sell Pokemon cards just like this one and to try maximize your profit. <laughs> So earlier in the week, uh, we talked about pre-ordering sealed product from Japan. So if you remember those sealed uh, Blastoise and Venusaur decks, uh, some booster boxes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, now I kind of want to talk to you guys about how to maximize your profit or get things cheaper in Japan uh, to resell or just for your own collection. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, this channel is not just for selling. This is just for cheaper collecting. Uh, and so... Earlier in the month, I decided that I would, you know, kind of dive into buying more singles, but not kind of like lots. I kind of wanted to buy from local stores and source really good quality cards uh, in bulk so I could, you know, get a lot of people buying them rather than, you know, asking about condition and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the stores that I did buy from local stores that my supplier found. Uh, they man they have this grading system where they have A, B, C, and D. So A would be kind of cards you send to PSA. B would be cards that uh, have some some issue with them. It might be you know a little bit whitening on the edge. Uh, it might be a slight hollow scratch. You know a little irregularities with it. it might be you know off center whatever. And C would be you know light played and then d would be probably like really really heavily played so i tried to test out you know a and b uh, and see what i could get so um today we're gonna look at i think i bought 102 cards uh some of them a lot of them most of them are actually the same card you know i hate being that guy who has only one copy of each card and you know a lot of people want the card and i'm disappointing a lot of people so i decided to go through and buy a ton of the same card uh so i have 102 cards and about i don't know maybe uh 15 or 16 different cards so this is the first card and as you can tell it's straight from a japanese store because you know it has still has the barcode still has the number as the japanese name and the number so this is the 65th uh, card in the set that's why it's number 65 and so I decided to buy tons of the same cards so this is Sabrina's Alakazam these are all B grade so I'm going to take one out of the sleeve and show you and I'll go through the cost and the price and how much everything costs so as you can see this card is pretty good you'll see that it has a couple nicks in the corners there uh, but that's really it the hollow is to me pretty pretty good really i can't really see anything right now it's difficult when i'm recording to look really really closely and intensely but i can't really see anything too wrong with it there's a nice swirl just above uh the left spoon there um but yeah overall really really good quality but you know maybe not something you'd get a psa 10 necessarily with so it cost me 9,011 yen to ship everything DHL. I think it was like three or four day shipping to the United States. Uh, and when that turned out to be 86 cents per card. So the totals that I'm going to talk about, especially when I'm talking about per card already includes uh, the 83 cents or the 86 cents uh, it costs to ship each card. Uh, that is kind of quite high, 86 cents per card. But if you're thinking about how cheap I'm getting these, it's not that bad at all. So just for these Alakazams, for 15 of them, it cost me $2.66 per card and I'm selling them for around 9 or $10 each. That's just a massive, massive profit margin right there. So yeah, those are all the Alakazams. We do have some newer stuff. We do have some promos, for example, uh, but I just wanted to start off with these. So here we go. Here's some more. These are Giovanni's Nido King. Uh, these were $2.56 each. So this one, so this is the issue. One of the, the supplier that I had accidentally bought one of these and gave it to me uh, free of charge. This is uh, just, I think it's another Giovanni's Nido King. Uh, there's only one of them. And as you can see, I think, I don't know if someone can tell me this in Japanese, but I think this says something like error or this a mistake or whatever. They didn't mean to put this in or they didn't mean to purchase this for me. Um, <clears throat> so not too bad, uh, but all of these are pretty good quality. Here we have uh, some scissor or scissor. I Some guy on the uh, one of the videos gave me some shit for saying scissor wrong or scissor. I don't know how he wanted me to say it, but if I'm saying it wrong, educate me if you want, but that's how I say it. Uh, but yeah, these are just so, so nice. Let me take this card and see if what's what kind of condition this is. I mean, that to me, I think I may have bought the scissor ones in an A because that is pretty darn near 
perfect to me. It might not be to you guys. I'm looking at it from a different angle from you guys. Trying to get it all. I mean, that is... Jeez. I may have to up the price for, for these ones because I was originally thinking of selling these for $9. But if they are mint condition, maybe a little bit more expensive. But tentative price is definitely $9 right now. I got these scissors for only $3.33 each, which makes sense that they're a bit more expensive uh, than the Nido King and Alakazams because they are uh, really, really minty. Yeah, all of them look really nice. And then I got a couple of meganiums just to... These are really, really cheap in Japan. So uh, I think they were something like 90 cents each. Uh, but then when you add on the shipping, let me see here. It ended up being $2.18. So it might have been like just over a dollar each for each of these, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. You know, I'm getting these cards so, so cheap. I do wish I lived in Japan just so I could see how cheap they are. It's just mental. So I got a couple Entei's. A uh, couple Suicunes, and then the best one. So these ones here are the Team Rocket's Moltres. This is the uh, most expensive card I got, I think. Let me check. It was $5.26 per card, and I'm signing them for around $20 each. Now, these ones were a B grade. As you can see, some nicks here, but still... I mean, if you're wanting to just put these in a binder, this would be perfect. Look at the hollow. It's, like, pretty much flawless. Um, and then, you know, if you wanted to get these graded, I mean, you can still grade all of these cards, which is a really good thing. Uh, and that's what I th why I love Japanese is because it's so affordable to collect. You know, you're thinking base set right now uh, or, you know, gym challenge or gym heroes or whatever. They're, it's just too expensive to collect in English. So these are sticking together. So that's not good. That's the thing with, I don't know why, my Japanese cards always tend to st stick together. So we have, so here we had some uh, Neo Genesis Heracross, and then we have Erica's uh, Clefable right here. I got quite a few of these because they were cheap. Tech, usually the cheaper the card, the more I buy of them in bulk, especially the old back cards because, you know, old back is old back and it's really difficult to, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find good quality old back. Here's more uh cliff fables and we got two uh kasumi or misty's gyaradoses i love this card i have this in a psa 9 i think uh really love gyarados and then here is uh one of the cool artworks of kangaskhan uh adorable love that such a cool artwork uh there you go and then uh, I decided that, you know, I think one of the bi next big things in Pokemon with base set going kind of crazy lately with the prices, uh, I think uh, the ADV series, so these cards are from ADV, which I'm going to be showing you, this amazing Heracross. Look at that. Some of you probably haven't even seen these because, you know, ADV is not really... Uh, really looked at that much and i got a ton of swampert swampert is my favorite pokemon and you know if these don't sell then i don't care i have an abundance of gorgeous swamperts i think these are c grade uh let me have a look they might be b grade i think they're c i think i remember getting all these swamperts because they were relatively cheap look at that swirl so nice uh and then we have some blaziken uh this blaziken for some reason they uh, sold me a first edition Blaziken, the same price as a non-first edition Blaziken. Um, I don't know, maybe the store that I bought it from don't, didn't realize or they don't really care whether it's first edition or not. You know, first edition in Jap Japanese isn't as big a deal as it is in English. Um, but yeah, it's cool nonetheless. Here are some Rhydons. I love this artwork. It's so cool. Uh, I can't remember. I think this is from a Team Magma set. This is also first edition, but these ones aren't. It's weird. Uh, but I think that means Team Magma. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe one of you guys can help me out. I'm not too sure on that. And then we've reached the promos. So we're nearly there. And then we'll go over more of the prices and whatnot. Uh, these Grudon promos. I can't remember which promo this is for. I need to look it up. Uh, but really cool. I always love the cool stamps. I don't know why this one's in the left-hand corner. Normally, they're on the right hand. Maybe it was special for something. Then we have a couple Kyogre EXs. Uh, as you can see, they're promos. I don't know if they're from a theme deck or something. And this was actually one of my favorite promos, this one here. I think it's called uh, Dr. Yatsugi, I think. I'm not 100% sure. That might be 
the name in Japanese. That's what they gave it to me. Maybe in English, this might be a bit different. I can't remember. So we have Totodile, Chikorita, and of course, Cyndaquil. This is a cool promo, as you can see down here. It's a promo stamp. Um, so really, really cool. I do love that. I, I, I thought this would be kind of popular. It looks like a very popular artwork. You know, you have the three starters. Uh, so I bought quite a few of them. And then one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, this is from a black and white, I believe. This kind of like Shatterfoil um, Salamence. Really, really cool. And I bought quite a few of those. I liked it myself. And so everything I bought... Uh, like I tell you guys all the time, you know, you have to buy stuff that you yourself like and uh, you kind of like trust your own judgment that if you like it, you know, other people are going to also like it. Um, so that was kind of like uh, my theory on this, you know, a couple of promos that looked cool. Uh, old backs are always really, really popular. And that's why I uh, decided uh, to get all these. So, so the total cost of 102 cards, including the shipping and everything was $252, which is kind of a lot of money up front if you think about it. You know, most of us, I know when I started doing this, $252 would probably be in every single cent that I had plus a little bit extra. Um, so uh, for you guys, you guys starting out, it's probably not uh, worth getting a massive amount of these uh, just because you're risking, you know, it's, it took the supplier a long time to get all of these together. I think, you know, uh, I think it was like three or four weeks. And in, in my world, three or four weeks feels like a very, very long time. You know, I'm used to getting something in three or four days, uh, but the shipping was relatively quick. Um, but the good thing was the shipping cost was relatively low. You know, $90 or $89, however much it was, I can't remember, seems like quite a lot of money. Uh, but when you spread it per card, it's $0.86 or $0.83 cents per card, which is really not that much. Uh, it's pretty much next to nothing. But uh, this morning when I went onto my spreadsheet um, and looked at all the cards that I had, all 102 cards and how much... Uh, money I would make at the tentative pricing. So what I like to do on my spreadsheets and something I really highly recommend to you guys to do is create, if you're doing this kind of business thing, is to have a spreadsheet readily available so you can track your inventory. Um, you know, behind me, I have like five huge boxes of Pokemon stuff. Uh, and honestly, sometimes I just don't know what's available and what's not. If I have an Excel spreadsheet in front of me, I can quickly jump on it and see how much of something I have without, you know, digging through and counting every time someone asks me if I have something or how much of something I have. So on my spreadsheet in front of me, uh, I have all my tentative prices. You know, I think the cheapest card I was selling, I'm quickly scanning it. I think my cheapest card was these uh, Kai Ogre promos. Uh, if I can find them, yeah, these ones. I think these were really, really cheap, and they aren't in the... They're not too bad in condition-wise. Uh, this one's actually a little bit bent. So I was trying to sell them cheap. These were $4 each that I'm posting them at, um, and the most expensive one was the uh, Blaine's Moltres uh, ones. So... Uh, and the rest of them, you know, they range, most of them are kind of like in the 8 or $9 region. There's only a couple that are in double digits. I think it is Alakazam, Nidoking, I'm looking at 9 or $10, and everything else is in single digits, uh, which I really don't think is that uh, that bad at all. You know, this Clefable, I think I'm looking to sell for like $6. Uh, the Meganium was $8. Uh, I think, uh, is Scizor, what is that? Scizor, I'm only asking $9, but I probably will increase that because I forgot that this was an A graded, uh, card. So once I added everything up, you know, the quantity and, uh, how the tentative pricing and all that, I came to $802, which is around $600 profit, which is a lot, but uh, I have a feeling, you know, if people buy things in bulk, I do give everyone a discount. So that was my feeling behind it. So, you know, I think the more of something you buy, uh, the cheaper it tends to be, you know, economies of scale. Of course, that only goes to some point before you reach diseconomies of scale, but, you know, you want to make the shipping worth it. If I had bought just this card, and uh, shipped it here, the shipping would be at least $20. And it's just not worth it for one card. So you have to keep adding and adding and adding until you know you get to that 80 cents per card uh, region. That's kind of like the best region that I found. You know, I could have added probably a couple hundred more to become, you know, get the 
the peak maximum profitization, but uh, this is all I was willing to trial at the moment. Uh, I'm looking to do this more often, probably once a month, and I'm gonna try focus on these old back uh, cars because they seem to be the most popular. I did get some ADV because ADV is one of my you know favorite eras, Gen 3. You know, it's always gonna be cheaper uh, getting this stuff from Japan rather than you know, on eBay. You know, at this point in time, uh, the only use of eBay that I have right now is kind of getting my shipping materials and stuff and selling. I, I rarely buy anything on eBay anymore because people just don't understand the market and they're putting everything way too high. And those that have fair pricing, the product is gone within seconds. So, so you're really uh, up against it at this point. So, um, you know, going to Japan is really the only option left for people like me and people like you guys that probably watch this. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys watching. I will have plenty more uh, episodes coming out for you guys. The podcast with Arbok will be out very, very shortly. By the time this is out, I will have already recorded it with Arbok. Uh, so that I'm thinking about Friday. This is gonna, that that uh, podcast is going to come out. And then, uh, you know, I have a really cool uh, couple of shipments coming in. I think you guys will really enjoy a mixture of sealed product and a mixture of uh, things like this um, and some shiny, uh, shiny V, shiny star V stuff. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, list them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. So thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Take care. Bye bye.